Good morning, dear friends. Day 86, cooking down the freezer and pantry, combining those things with fresh produce that I just stocked up on. If you didn't see that video, I posted that in my last one. So check that out. So nice and steamy hot. All right, so I did go to the Dollar Tree yesterday. Now part of my, this is a no low spend for me. I'm trying to do no spend on freezer food. Um, I am still stocking up on pantry stuff, but that's in my long-term pantry. It's not in my working pantry. That I'm trying to use things up. So, and then on my low spend, <clears throat> if you haven't seen my rules, I do have my own set of rules for myself that I made, and I do have a video on that. Now, in my low spend, I do allow myself a $20 uh, free-for-all spend, like at the Dollar Tree or something like that, once a month. Last month, I didn't go to the Dollar Tree at all. And this month, I actually went to two Dollar Trees because I was looking for chamomile tea, which both of them were out of. So that's kind of disturbing. I know a lot of you like that tea, too. But anyway, um, I just wanted to talk a little bit about my goals about money. Um, now, for me... I'm not trying to save a ton of money because I'm older and I want to, I'm at a point where I want to enjoy my money. Um, I know a lot of you that are younger are saving for retirement and that's, that's the way it should be. But once you get to retirement, um, I think it's a good thing to start enjoying your money. Not that you shouldn't you know, keep a legacy for your children. That would be nice if you had enough money. But I don't want to live a meager lifestyle either. Um, so my goal is to live comfortably without not buying a lot of junk that I don't need. And that's why the purging that I'm doing is going hand in hand with my no low spend. Because it it's teaching me that I don't need all that stuff. Now having said that, <laughs> this is kind of an oxymoron, I did go to the Dollar Tree yesterday, but I think I mostly bought useful items. Um, and every once in a while you have to buy a little something that's silly or useless, but you can't let it get out of hand. So I'm going to show you what I got at the Dollar Tree. <clears throat> so first so thing, I'll be back my shortly. sprouts are doing beautifully and a couple times a day I give them some filtered water and they're not quite big enough to eat yet but they will be soon and I started these oh, about a week and a half ago I think but I'm not sure and this drains into this little receptacle down here. Now this has several tiers to it, but I only did one because it's the first time I've used it. I've had this thing for years. Never used it, so that's another thing I'm learning with my purging. I'm going through things and actually putting them where I can use them and make things useful. So that's a good thing. So twice a day I do that. Now one thing I did buy at Mark's that wasn't food related was this smaller copper coated frying pan. I was so thrilled with the bigger one that I found that <clears throat> I bought this smaller one and this was uh, $6.99 which I thought was very reasonable and it's a really nice heavy pan. So I picked that up um, at Mark's when I shopped and then over here I've been just oiling my other frying pans. Now this one um, I've had for like maybe two, three years and it's sort of a cast iron but it's a little bit thinner and lighter weight than a cast iron 
and um, it was rusty and I know it still looks rusty on camera but it's not so I did a little steel wool job on it and now I'm oiling it again I'm not real thrilled I have two of these a bigger one and this one I'm not real thrilled with these pans but I'm giving it another shot and if I still don't like it I'll cook with it a few times if I still don't like it they'll go in the donation so um, and then this pan I bought a while ago and I bought my daughter a set of them too and they're really cute because they have this faux wooden handle but for some reason on my burner here it kind of burned through the finish I don't know what happened there but anyway I put some oil on there and I'm going to see if that helps because this is non-stick but then it sticks there so I don't know what happened to that pan I didn't burn anything in it that I can recall but anyhow that's one of the things I'm doing this morning is trying to get these pans in better shape but this one I did use and I, I really like the copper um, finish on it but of course like everything you have to be careful you can't use um, uh, metal utensils and things on it so I'm hoping it'll last a long time but I need to get rid of some of my frying pans all right so the two dollar trees that I went to <clears throat> looking for my tea um, at the one I spent um, eighteen dollars and six cents now the stuff I put out is in no particular order and on this one I spent twenty one dollars there we go twenty one dollars and forty seven cents so altogether I spent a little less than forty dollars and since I did not go to the Dollar Tree for my little splurge last month and I think I bought some useful items um, I still stayed within the forty dollars from last month and this month <clears throat> so one of the things I bought are these mini pretzels I still have a lot of hummus that I had bought at Costco and it's in those individual serving packages their hummus is good um, and I like mine with pretzels and I do have some pretzels left but um, they're not that many and I think they're starting to get stale so I bought a new package of those and then I wasn't going to buy seeds this year because I have a lot of seeds but I want to make sure my garden is successful so I did buy they were four for a dollar and uh, the one dollar tree hardly had any seeds and the other dollar tree was fully stocked so I guess it depends on where you're going so I bought all the veggies that um, I'm going to plant this year um, and then I, I'm going to go through my seed stash and see what else is in there but uh, kale peppers a couple kinds of beans yellow and green um, some sage uh, a tomato this is a container tomato so I'm assuming it's a bush tomato and um, I'm only going to plant two or three of those and see what comes up uh, because I already planted some tomatoes and I don't want tomatoes all over the place um, I bought some peas and those need to go in the ground very soon I bought eggplant and giant sunflowers last year I bought sunflowers but they weren't very big and I'd like a few of those uh, maybe my tomato can grow up them or something I don't know yet what I'm going to do some dill some summer squash I never have luck with that uh, I don't have enough pollinators in the backyard I have a ton of them in the front yard because I have uh, echinacea cone flowers out there and they love those but it's not sunny enough in the backyard and the spots that are sunny are kind of prime real estate for me because I want to plant vegetables in there and then uh, cabbage and this is an I guess an early variety some cabbages take a very long time to to get ready so those are the seeds I bought 
and uh, I want to start get those started. Then I bought um, this artist small artist sketchbook, and I figured I can keep this by my computer um, and just do a little sketching. I've really gotten away from my art, and I'd like to get back into it. So that was um, it was weird spending a dollar twenty five. Uh, at the Dollar Tree. I would have gotten this, of course, for 25 cents less, except the seeds. They were actually the same price. So, uh, got to tighten the belt with the Dollar Tree. Then I bought this really pretty little notebook, which was actually on my no-spend list, but I wanted something that um, I could make my YouTube notes in. Now, it's not a real fat notebook, and it's got uh, little pages that have embellishments on them. So I did buy that. And then I bought another binder because I always um, make uh, recipes and, you know, uh, print recipes. And uh, I, I need notebooks for different things just to keep my paperwork organized. So I bought one notebook as well. All right, I'll be back and show you the rest of the things. All right, well, here's some of the things that I bought. <clears throat> I like these uh, lip balms from the Dollar Tree, and I'm pretty much out. Um, so I bought these, and I usually keep one by my bedside and one by my computer. And because especially in the winter now, I get dry lips, they peel. So... I have those. Then I bought these two magazines. I really like these little magazines. I stopped buying a ton of those, Woman's Day and uh, what's the other one? Well, anyway, I don't buy those very often anymore. I do buy them once in a while, but I haven't read these yet. Smart Money Saver. Uh, I bought that and uh, Eat Better, Feel Great. And this is full of vegetarian dishes. So I picked those up because I do like to have a magazine around to read, but I was to the point where I just had way too many, and I actually at one point donated them all to a project that somebody was doing in the neighborhood, and I had like uh, maybe four big stacks of magazines, so I did a big purge of magazines way back. And then I picked up this wall charger. I always pick these up. My grandson loses them all the time. So I pick that up. I got this odor neutralizer because, you know, I have dogs. So anyway, I picked that up. Then I picked up this Reacher because uh, this is going up in my closet because a lot of times I can't reach like a t-shirt I want or something and I have to get the stool. So I thought this might make life a little easier so I picked that up then I got this is for the summer uh, the citronella incense sticks um, so those will go out on my deck with me when I sit out there now this is the tea vive that they had and I know they've had this for a while the apple cranberry they didn't have many of those either in the one dollar store I went to so I don't know what's going on with that, if they just can't get it, or I don't know. And then they had, these were new to my stores, um, Herbal Helpers, and this is an immunity booster. I thought I'd try that, and the ingredients <clears throat> on that one is uh, coriander, ginger, cinnamon, cloves, and uh, Tulsi green tea. Is that what it says? I don't know. Anyway, this is what it says. So they sounded like healthy ingredients. So green tea is not my favorite, but I thought I'd give it a try. So I got the immunity booster and the energy boost. And um, I guess it has 22 bags in there, so. But I thought I'd give it a try, uh, but I wish they had my chamomile because I drink that a lot. And this one has, um, 
ashwagandha, licorice, moringa, pepper, cinnamon, and green tea. So, <clears throat> we'll see. We'll see if they're any good. Uh, then I bought, um, I know, don't judge. <laughs> yeah, I bought votive candles, but I burn candles every day in here, and they don't have the jar candles lately. So, um, and I have lots and lots of jars. So what I've been doing is every day pretty much I burn a votive candle on my stove and usually the candle lasts me two days so I was totally out so that's how I justified buying these candles I was out so I bought the apple this one's a coconut and this one's a berry so um, you know hopefully that'll last me a while and then this nail polish I have on it's really pretty but when I put it on this time, it, it had gotten really, really, really thick. It's not this brand. It's a different brand. But I like the color, so I picked this up. And um, like I said, this is a different brand than what this one that I have on is. But uh, I think I have to throw the other one away. And it's not that old, but it's like a gel. So anyway... Then I picked up a couple of these complete because I, I've been using this a lot and I'm almost out of this so I picked one up and one for the stash and then this little thing of Miracle Whip. Whether it's worth $1.25 now I don't know but at least it doesn't get old. And Once in a while I like some Miracle Whip. I'll put it uh, with mayonnaise and it'll give it a little different uh, flavor. Then I picked this up for my mom. I use these as a cell phone holder. You can either put the phone this way or you can stand it up because it's got a little bit taller. And when I talk to my mom on um, the Duo app, uh, <laughs> she talks with her hands and if she's holding the phone in her hands, it's like all over the place. I have to tell her, you know, I'm, I'm getting seasick here. <laughs> You know, would you put your phone down? And then she laughs and she puts her phone down. So I got her one of these, uh, and maybe that'll alleviate that problem. And then, uh, oh, morning coffee, yes. And then I have this avocado that I bought in my um, produce haul. And they're pretty hard, hard as a rock. So I'm putting this out for a couple days, but I, if you... From what I heard, now if I'm wrong about this, please let me know in the comments below. But I heard that if you put something with bananas, I think you have to put them in a bag, but I'm not doing the bag thing, that it'll ripen faster. I think that works for fruit too. I don't know. Um, if you know something different, let me know. So that was pretty much my Dollar Tree haul. And it doesn't seem like uh, I got as much as I normally do. Uh, of course I didn't because, you know, it's a quarter percent increase. 25? Yeah. So anyway, that was my Dollar Tree haul. I tried not to buy a lot of junk. but uh, And I justified the candles because I use them. So, anyway, that's what I bought. I do have a couple more things. I also ran into um, uh, Family, not Family Dollar, the other one. Well, anyway, I'll, I'll show Dollar you what General, I bought. General, I spent $12.69, and I did not get much, but they were things that, <clears throat> that I needed. So, uh, I bought this cleansing shampoo because lately my hair has just been so poopy and I know I should be using expensive shampoo but I'm not doing that I mean I was a hairdresser forever and uh, you know this this will work fine I just wanted a cleansing shampoo to get some I don't use a lot of products on my hair just a, a little bit of hard to hold spray and just a little bit when I first wash it but I think I need to cleanse it somewhat <clears throat> so anyway I bought that 
and that was let me see uh, that was five dollars and twenty five cents so I got that then I got this uh, chapstick total hydration uh, moisturizer plus tint this is a really really pretty shade and it's usually a shade I wear a lot <clears throat> and uh, it's nice and moisturizing so I bought that and this is in rose petal and I keep one of these in my purse I wanted one for the bathroom so that was four dollars and fifty cents so right there was a big chunk of the twelve dollars and I couldn't resist they were a dollar a piece and they were just adorable so you know I have a gnome fixation so there they are um, those I'll probably put in my indoor garden somewhere alright so that was my Dollar General little teeny tiny haul so what do you think did I do okay did I waste my money uh, what would you not have bought uh, what do you think was totally ridiculous besides the gnomes? Uh, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. What are some of the things that you buy besides gnomes, or if you buy gnomes, whatever, that you just pick up whenever you see something that's really cute? Um, for me, it's gnomes and candles and nail polish. But I did have justification for buying them but we can justify just about anything right if we want to I know <laughs> okay I'll be back now on the subject of candles I've noticed that the last time I went to the Dollar Tree and also the two Dollar Trees I went to yesterday they're fairly low on their supply of candles so I don't know what's going on there if all their candles are coming from China or because of the supply chain I have no idea but um, now you can get these votive candles at Walmart for a similar price it's a bigger package and they're white but they're smaller and the thing I like about these, they burn all the way down. So uh, that's why I picked these up. But the one Dollar Tree was totally out of these. And the other one did have a small stock of these. But I don't know what's going on with the candles. So maybe it would be a good thing to learn how to make your own candles. And I have a couple videos out with that how I do mine uh, just from the candle scraps so I don't waste them so I thought that was interesting about the candles and like I said my little jar candles uh, were nowhere to be found now Mark's did have some they had um, for I think they were 97 cents but I didn't get any because they were citronella candles and uh, from what I hear, you're not supposed to burn those in the house. I don't know if you know different information. Do enlighten me. But, um, yeah, so this is actually a better deal than the votives that they have at, um, that you can buy at Walmart. And like I said, I do burn a candle every day. I just like the ambiance of it. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, my goal on this channel isn't to save a million dollars. It would be nice, but, um, you know, at, at 71, I want to enjoy the money I did save. So um, my goal is to live as abundantly as I can on the little income that I have, and especially in these days my income is getting smaller and smaller as I'm sure is, yours is as well so um, I want to try and show you how to live on abundantly unless that's why I named my channel what I did so and I didn't name it Ellen 
saves a million dollars. <laughs> so anyway, um, I'll be back with my breakfast choice this morning. Let's see what's bit. for breakfast this morning. And this is more brunch than breakfast because it's noonish. Okay, so in here I have leftovers from my um, breakfast with my daughter yesterday, so I'm going to eat that. And I want to get one of these patties and I'm going to make two sausages out of these burger patties that I bought for $2.99, the deal that I just couldn't pass up at Mark's. Even though I really don't want to buy any more meats, I just couldn't pass that up. And I'm going to make a meatloaf later, and this one was $3.99, and I couldn't pass that up either. So I need to cook those today. And... Uh... I don't know, I guess that's it. I need to use up my bread because even though it's in the fridge, if it's in there too long, it will get moldy. So I want a slice of bread and I think I'm going to have some blackberry jam with that. And that's it. So I will meet you at the stove. All right, so here's my impossible burgers. I was just reading some of the um, ingredients in, in here. And these are 240 calories. There's two servings per container, obviously. So, but I, was, I found this interesting. It does have 19 grams of protein, so that's quite a bit. Uh, only 3% carbs, 9 grams, uh, less than 1 gram of sugar. Now it does have saturated fat, 88, 8 grams, um, no cholesterol, and 370 milligrams of sodium. But this is what I found interesting. It has, um, let's see, 170 milligrams of calcium. It has 4.2 milligrams of iron. Potassium, 610 milligrams. Thiamine, it just says 2,350%. Riboflavin. 30%, niacin, 35%, vitamin B6, 25%, it has folate, 30%, and vitamin B12, 130%. And if you're plant-based, it's kind of harder to get vitamin B12, because a lot of that comes from animal products. And it has 15% phosphorus and 50% zinc. So I found that part of it interesting. Um, it does have a lot of oil in it. Let's see. It has soy protein concentrate, that's the main ingredient, coconut oil, sunflower oil, natural flavors, uh, potato protein, methyl cellulose, that, that's a binder, uh, yeast extract, cultured dextrose, Food starch, soy, uh, like hemoglobin. So I imagine that's hemoglobin is uh, a plant. I mean, it's what you get in red meat and your blood, but that's plant based. Um, salt, I don't know what mix tocopherols are in soy protein isolate. So, you know, a lot of people say, oh, the ingredients in there are just terrible, but I didn't see anything that was, like, really horrible. But anyway, um, 
so I like these and I'll continue to buy them so uh, but what I want to do today is I want to take just one of these and I'm playing around with the sausage seasoning mix I haven't perfected it yet so when I do I'll share that with you but I just want to take one of these and make two small sausage patties out of it because this is my leftovers from uh, breakfast yesterday with my daughter and that's um, a veggie omelet with mushrooms and cheese so I'm just going to take one of these and then I have a, one mixture I actually I'm playing around with two different mixtures so I have one that I found in my cupboard to make uh, oatmeal sausage so I'm going to try that and uh, I'll probably end up combining this recipe with the other one that I'm playing around with but it they do have a lot of ingredients in them so but anyhow I'm on a quest I want to make some good tasting sausages so I'll be back I'm going to mix this up and take this out of the package. Okay, so I'm going to take, this is probably half a teaspoon, a little bit more, three quarters of a teaspoon. I'm going to add that to my burger, and then I'm going to uh, mash it up so that it's incorporated in there. And I've never made this before, so it might be good, it might not be. I've made the oat burgers before, but like I said, I'm, I'm working on, on a recipe for sausage patties that I'm really satisfied with. It's not quite there yet, so we'll see. Alright, I'm going to put just a little bit more. Because sausage is salty and it's got a lot of spice in it. So cooking to me is, is a fun thing. It's a learning experience. So alright, I'm going to make, make sure it's well incorporated so you don't get any hot spots. And I'm just going to make two little burgers out of this instead of one big one. And then I'm going to fry them until they're all done. All right, I'll be back after I get these fried up. Okay, here is my breakfast, day 86. I made impossible sausage out of impossible burger, a piece of my homemade bread toasted with blackberry jam and my leftovers from yesterday so hardly anything gets wasted in this household especially nowadays food is too expensive and some chamomile tea and I hope Dollar Tree didn't discontinue it so cheers and I'm going to give this a try but I don't have a fork all right, let's see. The texture's good. And it just, of course, looks like a burger inside. Let me give it a taste. Mm hmm. It's good. Not too salty, but that all depends on how much you use. But if you like it a little more spicy, you can add more red pepper flakes to it. So I'm still going to play around with this a little bit. Combine my two recipes that I've come up with and see what I like. But I do like the taste of this. I think it's very tasty. 
All right, I will be back later, and we'll see what else is up today. Dinner, day 86. All right, let's see. What are we going to have? I think I know. I need the Thousand Island dressing. And I need this sauerkraut. And some of this seitan corned beef. And some of this sharp cheddar cheese. So I'm going to have a Reuben sandwich. All right, I will meet you at the stove. All right, well, I'm going to put together my sandwich. I have here the rest of my potato soup and I put some green onion on top. So I got three meals out of those couple little potatoes that I had left. So. I'm, everything that I have here is already warmed up, except for the cheese. So I'm just going to make my Reuben now. And hopefully it'll be good. So I just buttered one side. And I'm going to put my sharp cheddar on there. This should be good, I hope, because, you know, it was work putting it together. So, I'm trying that energy tea that I got from Dollar Tree, and it's pretty good. I, I left the tea steep for quite a while. But it's tasty. So, I'm having a cup of tea while I make dinner. And here is my not corned beef or corned not beef so that's already warm so I'm going to put that on top and that'll help melt the cheese too since it's still warm and I preheated this pan a little bit and I'm cooking it like on medium low because I do want it to brown up this piece going this way. All right. So this is another recipe that I'm tweaking, but I'm always tweaking something. So in the sauerkraut, I just heat it up in the jar. So that's going on top. If you don't like sauerkraut, then leave it off. And if you eat meat, of course, you can use corned beef instead of seitan, but mine is seitan. All right. So as soon as this is toasted underneath, the sandwich will be ready. And put on as much sauerkraut as you like. I don't like too, too much sauerkraut, and you can put on as much beef as you want. And then I'm going to put the Thousand Island dressing on here. And I've never tried this brand, I got it at uh, Mark's. So, but I don't usually have Thousand Island on my salads, so I specifically bought it for this corned beef sandwich. All right, top goes on. All right, and I have enough sauerkraut for another sandwich. And the uh, this was the marble rye I bought the other day. Um, so I want to use that up too. So I'm having potato soup and a corned beef sandwich. All right, I'll be back when this is all toasted and done. All right, so here we have dinner day 86. 
Reuben sandwich with corned beef seitan, potato and leek soup. Hopefully it's good. I'll give it a try. Here goes. And it's probably going to be messy because Reuben's are messy. That's what it looks like. Mm. Mm. Like Jessica Wanders says, go check out her channel. Thumbs up from me. This is really good. So if you're missing corned beef, if you're vegetarian or vegan, um, think about making yourself some corned beef seitan. There's lots of recipes out there for it. And uh, I'll try to remember to share mine. But uh, so even if you're vegan or vegetarian and you're missing some of the flavors that you used to like to eat, if you were a meat eater at some point in your life, explore some uh, vegan and vegetarian recipes. And this was not expensive to make at all. It's um, actually way cheaper than corned beef. All right, my friends, that's all I have for you today. I'm going to eat my dinner. I want to wish you abundant blessings. Tomorrow I'm going to do a little bit of gardening video. Um, so stay tuned for that. And uh, I love you guys. Be good to yourself, be good to others, and God bless you. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, comment, and like. Thanks for watching.